Welcome Midtown Video Web Surfers. I'm Jesse Miller with What's Hot. We're back after a long break of funny little cameras and single CMO sensors. Finally, we've got something that our hardcore news guys and professional cinematographers can show up to the set and not be embarrassed about the size of their camera. Weighing in at a, a reasonably light seven pounds and seven ounces is the new Sony PMW 500. This is a full-size, shoulder-mounted camera with three Powerhead FX CCDs. These are the same color capturing devices that you will find in their flagship Cine Alta PDW F800. What else does it have in common with the F800? How about the data rate? You can record a full 50 megabits per second in a 422 color space. Now this is a large step ahead of previous entrants in the XDCam EX marketplace. Pretty awesome. Something that sort of bridges the gap between the old EX cameras and the new Cine Altas is the viewfinder. Our HDW F900 and PDW F800 customers will be happy to know your HDVF viewfinder line will work perfectly on this PMW 500. But in addition, our PMW 350 guys will be happy to know that you can put this beautiful CBVK-01 viewfinder on here, made famous in our previous videos as the So what's the main difference between the PMW 500 and the PDW F800? Well, it's the recording media. This camera has two S by S slots, which allows obviously Sony's S by S cards. With two first party 64 gig S by S cards, four hours continuous recording at the highest bit rate, 50 megabits per second. Of course, you could dial down the bit rate to 35 or 25 and get even more data on those cards, but we always recommend shooting at the highest quality available. Now, what if you're not into the expensive S by S media? Well, Sony's got this awesome solution available. It's a first party SDHC adapter. For about 120 bucks, you can put this SDHC adapter in your S by S slot and buy several less expensive SDHC cards. You get to record the exact same amounts of data, timing, all that kind of stuff. The only downfall is when you set this camera into overcrank or undercrank mode, it doesn't function at all the complete levels of functionality in overcrank and undercrank. So for instance, if you wanted to set the camera up in 720p 60 and do your playback at 24 for a better than 50% slow motion, you're going to need to use Sony's first party S by S cards. One feature that this camera has inherited from the Cine Alta line is the hypergamma. Check out this chart over here. You've got four separate available hypergamma curves, selectable, you know, sometimes you're doing some hard news shooting. Sometimes you're doing some more cinematographic shooting where you want to get a little more detail in your blacks and um, sort of dumb out the colors because you're going to do color correction and post later. Well, Sony's got four awesome, you know, individually selectable hypergamma curves that will assist you in these different shooting situations. There are two features that are really really great for the hardcore news guys that I'd like to talk about. And the first one is pool feed. Let's say you're going to a soccer game. First, you got to take a pool feed from the guys for the press conference and then shoot the game later. Well, you buy a little option board. You have your friends at Midtown Video install it for you. And what you get is the functionality to put an SDI or an HD SDI feed right into your camera. So you're effectively turning this into a deck. Anywhere you go, you've got the capability to shoot off of the CCDs or after installing the optional board, use it as a deck using the pool feed HD SDI input. That's pretty sweet. But what if you're a BBC kind of guy and you got a lot of live shots to do? Something we've got for you is the HD CA702. I know you guys know that we love the model numbers and letters here, but let me explain. The HD CA702 is an MPEG transport stream adapter. So basically, you stick it on the side of your camera, on the back of your camera, and what it allows for is a direct output to a satellite transmission system. So normally, you're going in through a truck or something like this that uses a separate encoder. The HD CA702 MPEG transport stream adapter eliminates the need for an additional encoder, allowing you to go directly to your satellite transmission system. This camera is packed full of features. We would love you to send us an email. We would love you to give us a call, ask for a quote. It's under $28,000, by the way. But uh, come on in and get your hands on a demo at Midtown Video. Uh, the, the video guys, the film guys, the film students, and the old pros, they're all going to agree. Sony has made another camera that is totally awesome.